Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Just doing a video of a video. <laughs> no, just joking. A couple of important things. There's around about three important points I want to make in this video. This one should be a short one. That one there ain't going to be so short. That is one of the long ones. Um, instructional on replacing injectors, all those Im important information tips, tricks and stuff like that to get that done right the first time. What this one is about, three aspects I want to talk about. I want to show you how clean this EGR is. It's had a plate in there for 100,000 Ks or more, or longer than that, something around that time anyway, many years. And so I want to show you that. Also want to tell you some people are asking which vehicles need a pilot learn and which ones don't. So we're going to answer that one. And I'm just going to mention, well, that's probably about it, isn't it? That's enough. I might mention a little bit to do with blowing smoke if I remember and if I think about it. So let's first get in a bit closer if we can and get as close as we can without moving this to show you this EGR, EGR, EGR. Might have to really get in there in a minute, but look, does that work? I don't know if that works or not, but I can tell you it's clean, all right? The bit of black on that shaft, you can see the bottom, I'm just looking where you are, all right, you know? Um, you can see the alloy, you can see, you know, I'm gonna actually use my, this is my pointer for this video, my finger, all right? You can see the bit of black there, but up here, the alloy, it's clean. Up the top there, right? So you've seen the photos of the dirty black ones and they're all caked up even down here and really caked up bad along here. So here it's alloy in color. I can tell you looking in there, there's no build up whatsoever, right? So that's it. So we've covered that. That's the EJR thing. I don't care if you put a plate in there or not, whatever. It doesn't make any difference to me. If you need one, kon.com.au on eBay, kon 4x4. They've got the plate, seven mil hole, quality, Australian made and all that sort of thing, right? So, if you're gonna put one in, good on you. I just tell you it works. I'm just showing you that I've seen vehicles with them in there like this one, been there a long time. It definitely works, it's cheap, it's reliable. There's no need to do anything else. Your EGR system still functions. You haven't disabled it and stopped it from working, stopped it from doing the job it's supposed to do. You just reduce, it's a flow reduction device, okay? And it's a good balance, it just works really well. All the results we've seen works really well. So let's move on from that one. Which vehicles need a pilot learn? So when you when you replace your injectors here, right, for example, right? When you've replaced the injectors, one of the things you need to do on some vehicles is a pilot learn. Now let's re be really clear here. Um, first thing is the compensation codes. So compensation codes, we'll just briefly mention, are the codes on top of the injector here, right? So before you install those, or at this point, you could do it before you, we do it when they're on the bench in order. You can do it at this point, then you know where they are. You can go and take a photo. One, two, three, four. Bada bing, record that conversation code, check your photos, make sure you can read it clearly. Otherwise you might be taking your intercooler off or climbing in the engine bay to check those numbers. Every vehicle needs the compensation codes inputted to the ECU. Now, what do I mean by every vehicle has to? What I mean is you cannot do it. You cannot do it, it'll run fine, okay? Now, a new set of injectors without the compensation codes put in are gonna be working better than an old flog set of injectors, even if the compensation codes are in, right? So uh, it's less important than getting your injectors replaced, obviously, depending how bad they are. It's the fine tuning of the injector. I've said it before, so it's ideal to put those in. Can you drive it? Heaps of people start the engine, drive the car. There's people I've read online on Facebook, whatever, that have, uh, you know, oh yeah, should get mine done too. How long's it been? Oh, six months, a year, two years, all sorts of things where people haven't done it. Of course, it's better if it's done, but of course you don't have to. I'm not gonna tell you you don't have to, but it's proven that you don't have to because people don't do it and it's been good for years, so you don't have to. I'm not telling you not to do it. I advise you do it. That's the right thing to do keep it running in peak performance. It's all part of it to even up the horsepower, the power between the cylinders, adding or subtracting fuel at the right time. Now, pilot learn. Pilot learn is another procedure that has to happen that the ECU will recognize, right? It'll recognize, hang on, what's going on here? If you've changed an engine or injectors or something like that, how does it know? It knows when you go to put, it doesn't know till you put the compensation codes in. So when you put the compensation codes in, You've just told the ECU you've done something. So if you were to put injectors in a vehicle that um, doesn't need compensation codes, well then it doesn't need them, that's fine too. But if it does need them, it doesn't know until you put the compensation codes in. I don't know if I just said the right thing, so I'm gonna say it again. 
I wish I could rewind. I could probably do that and edit, but I haven't got time. So let's just go backwards for a minute. Once you input those conversation codes we're talking about from, you know, those codes there, do, 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 into the ECU, that's where it goes, whoa, hang on a minute, you've changed something, I need a pilot learn, and that's when your engine lights come on. If you don't input those codes, you can start the car, drive the car, it'll drive normally, no engine lights, it won't even know what you've done. But as I said, it'll probably run better with new ones, even though the conversation codes are not in. I would, of course, recommend keeping that to a limit of minimal and not doing it if you don't need to, okay? Which vehicles? All the older ones, like the 120s, don't need a pilot learn, okay? There's no pilot learn on those, okay? It's the 150 Pradas that need the pilot learn, and of course, the same vintage Hiluxes. We're talking from approximately ninth month, 2009. Now, you wanna know exactly if you're gonna need a pilot learn or not. You wanna know 100% to be sure. Well, it's different on every engine and every set of injectors and that sort of thing, but I'll give you a bit of an example, right? When we supply our kits, the best way is probably just ask me and say, is this one going to need a pilot learn or not? But if you've got a 120 Prado, no. If you've got a 150 Prado, yes. It's as simple as that. No 120 Prados need a pilot learn. No 150 Prados don't need a pilot learn. Obviously subject to you just not doing it anyway. Once, if you've got a 150 Prado, once you put those compensation codes in, you're going to get an engine light. Panic stations, okay? So be ready for that. Then you need to go into the utility of the scan tool Pilot learn detail is what we use. It may take a little bit longer, but that's how we do things, detailed. Not the quick, short, wham, bang, thank you, ma'am, short one. It's the proper, long, detailed version is how we do things, okay? So I hope that answers that question, right? So what do we got covered here? EGR plate, look how clean it is, it works. I just incorporated that into this video because I had it there to show you. And we can look at a set of injectors here, right? Here beautiful things they are they're just sitting in place they haven't even been i'm not even sure they're down all the way they're literally just sitting there we've cleaned the ports we've dropped the washers in we're sitting the injectors in place don't try and attempt this on your own unless you know what you're doing or you've watched a number of these videos in the vlp group this video i think it's cool we're going to put it out on youtube public um i hope that helps what else was I going to say something about smoke as well so egr yep covered plate seven mil works kon.com.au on 4 before on eBay, compensation codes. I'll just remind you again, September 09 roughly is where they changed for the Hiluxes. If, you're, um, if you've got a pre, uh, from 09, 09 onwards Hilux, the way to denote, look, the injectors change, they're different injectors, okay? I'll give you a bit of a, an idea here. If you've stuck around eight minutes, you deserve it. The compensation code on the top here, it's gonna start with 1.8. Okay, if it's a 150 Prado, should always start with 1.8. Starts with anything else, you've got the wrong injectors, okay? So, important note for hanging around eight minutes. Hang around a bit longer, you'll get another one. If you've got a 120 Prado, that compensation codes, like these ones, should start with 1.3. Let's have a look. Is it 1.3? Can't even see from here, but it'll be 1.3. Let me get up there and have a look. Let's just have a look. Oh no, it's double one. No, just joking. It's one three. And there's double ones and there's other things and it does get a bit confusing. So don't think as you watch one video, you know it all either. It's just little bits of information. Now, if you want to work out with your Hilux, whether it's got the early ones or the later ones, that's what you can look at. Does it start with a one three or a one eight? And when you send me that text message with your name on a Monday after 8.30 a.m., that's parts day, Monday. Monday's the day. When you do that, um, Okay, B busy, 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 very busy, busy other day. So as I've said, I'll just mention that quickly in this video as well. So the way to contact me in a text message, you'll find the phone number on our Facebook pages. If you ask someone, they'll have it for you, whatever. I don't go putting out too crazy because we're busy, busy, busy. But if you say, hey, uh, my current, I've got a 06 2007 and it starts with 13, bang, we know what injectors and we can tell you it's got the right injectors in it quite often. Vehicles have got wrong injectors in them, believe it or not, as crazy as that sounds. Sometimes they have wrong injectors in them. Okay, so we've got all that covered. The o September 09, September 09 onwards, 150 Prado and Hilux is the ones that need the pilot learn. See, you know, I kept repeating myself, but I want to be really clear because people are still asking which ones need pilot learns, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Don't worry about these things till you get in the VIP group. When you get your parts and you get in the VIP group, 
that's when you start doing your study because there's so many more important things more important than whether it needs a pilot learn or not so that you can get it done right the first time now the other thing people have been uh, asking questions and mentioning lately there's quite a few inquiries I'll call it inquiries around on fake book fake book yep and if you don't want to be on fake book I don't have a problem with that right because um, that's fine you know if you're just happy with YouTube and you want to watch the YouTube videos and you don't want to know about fake book that's fine so I'm going to provide a new service for you for you people that have listened all the way past 10 minutes to this important information and because what I've got is and you need to be patient with this but I can do it for you if you're on if you're watching the YouTube channel and you're not interested in Facebook and even if I paid you twisted your arm threatened to beat you to death get on Facebook or you're finished um, okay I get it that's fine I respect that the links for the videos that are in the VIP group not all of them but some of them some of them I can send to you so if you were to purchase an injector kit or pay your VIP membership you know let's say maybe you could even buy these videos or something you know? now let's not do that that is get too confusing so this wasn't planned I'll just make it up as I go what we'll do is if you purchase your injector kit or whatever the case may be I'll send you some links to some videos but the thing is I can't just drop everything and do it the minute you want it that's a problem so the VIP group it's there you can do it anytime you want it right I'm very busy I can't search for everyone you've got to search for yourselves and therefore if you're not on that group and you're just on YouTube I can help you out but you need to be patient you need to remind me you don't don't get cranky and go oh, I've been asking for these videos a week it probably won't take that long but I don't know and then when I finish what I'm doing you think I don't want to break it's not all about work right so what I'm trying to do help all you guys and manage my time as much as possible as well so let's just talk about smoke just quickly as well right um, so we've got other videos on smoke please watch those search our channel why does my diesel blow smoke um, and you can watch some other videos on YouTube that blow some crazy smoke as well if you like that's not what we're talking about we go through the reasons we go through what color it is we go through why it might be happening now generally these 1kds with a good engine and a good set of injectors they generally don't blow any smoke now when I say that it doesn't mean when you start it up cold the next morning it's not going to blow a little pup these things can happen they're not things I'm generally worried about if I did the injector job if I supplied the injectors all the parts did the job I know hundred percent it's right spot on absolutely so you know everything's right okay let's say for example the vehicle's done 170 180 thousand k's has had regular service never had a blocked oil pickup we know there's nothing wrong with it other than the injectors might be worn and whatever so you put a set of injectors in it happy days and then later on you're looking at it because you want it to be perfect and you're a bit worried about it and you see these little puffs of smoke on a cold startup don't worry about it okay just don't worry why because you know your engine's good you've got a good engine it's been maintained well You've done the job right now this is all subject to have you done the job right so the right parts you didn't end up with chinese copies from someone you didn't end up with reman you didn't put in other brands you did the pipes all the other parts you did the uh, cleaning the ejr and the intake if it was required all the related work the other little bits of filters cleaning and replacement and stuff like that all done right as per the videos then you don't have to worry you've done everything you can you've got brand new genuine injectors that are made by machines people don't get to touch them they're 100% spot on far as I'm concerned the amount of injectors we've gone through and never had a problem with one brand new genuine injector when that's what it is um, yeah you know 100% confident 101% if there's such a thing I don't think you can't go over 100% can you anyway guys so little puffs of smoke if it's blue smoke it's probably gonna be a bit of oil it could be some thin oil you've driven the vehicle it's nice and hot switch it off could be to do with parked on which angle as well it can possibly a little bit can run down those valve stems or something like that there is oil in the engine to lubricate it there's seals in place but things don't always work perfectly perfect you know what I mean um, so the little puffs that I'm seeing I'm not worried about if the injectors have been done and the job's done right okay now if you got your injector somewhere I don't know what you got where you got them from if you did the job and you're not in the VIP group I don't know what you've done I can't help I don't know you're gonna ask me well do I need to worry I don't know I don't know did you do the part, right parts and right procedures because if you did and it's had all the service and all that that's where you kind of like you know there's nothing to worry about it's what it is now there's plenty that are gonna start up and be clean some blow little puffs of smoke they do vary it does happen so don't think that because you've got a little puff that you need to worry about it 
But don't think if you've got a little puff, it's nothing to worry about because more often than not, they don't blow little puffs of smoke. And when they do, it could be a telltale sign towards that injector replacement thing. But to, to have a look at diesel smoke, it's not really about starting up and see a little puff on startup. It's once it's warmed up, and you're sort of giving a bit of a rev and comparing to other engines what's normal, comparing to a new one, comparing to a 50 or 100,000 K one, comparing to them with new engine. And that's why we specialize in this. We're comparing a whole lot of engines and vehicles with different Ks and seeing a lot of similar results, but it does vary a little bit. So I don't know if that's helped you with a smoke thing or not. I've explained best I can. Hopefully at least it helped you with the do you need a pilot learn or not, because that's probably what I'm gonna call this video. And the bonus information you got out of it including how clean the EGR is and the, the talk about smoke, well, that's a butter bing, butter boom. All right, guys, if you got something out of that, please remember, if you can, give us a thumbs up so we know we're doing the right thing. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Turn that bell on so you don't miss the next really important bit of information. And um, butter bing, butter boom, we're out of here. See ya.